So, LB and I really want to show you the swatches that we've been working on and how the yarn room got to look like this. Abandoned snacks, I was sat there. So yeah, I think this is the swatch that I've settled on. Um, and I've got more swatches to show you that Albie has just kindly walked over. But first, we need to get me out of dramas. We need to get in here, <laughs> like put back to some sort of usable space. <laughs> oh goodness me. And I really need to take Albus for a walk so that I can put him to bed and speak to you uninterrupted. So let's get that done, shall we? Yay! Good boy! Hey, hey, hey. So I have tidied up not only the yarn room, a bit of the house and myself. Um, I took Albus out for a quick walk. He's now chilling downstairs. I've just recorded a big vlog, um, my end of year vlog, and I really, really want to show you what I'm working on. Um, I've never designed anything knitwear before, and there's been so many like doubts um procrastination so many like or maybe i should make loads of other people's designs so that i'm an expert maybe i should hold off this that the other um i've just decided to go for it and i want to show you some of the process behind designing i want to show you the mountains of swatches that i've got um and just share let's just show you what i've got so far okay okay Okay, so down here, I've got the yarn that I'm using for the design. Um, I ordered this mohair from Wool Warehouse. It's the Drops Kid Silk. Um, I really wanted something soft so that the yarn was a bit softer. And I went with this colour. It's called Beige, but it actually looks more like a mushroomy colour to me. It's um a light it's got like a bit of pink and gray in it rather than the more taupe and oatmeal and i've used quite a bit of this skin because i've been swatching with it all day um yeah but look at that fluff i purchased eight balls of it because I wanted to make a big design and I wanted to get over the amount for delivery. Um, then there's also all of this. This is what I thought was Aram Wheat yarn that I purchased from Nottingham Yarn Show from a vendor. Um, but then when I kicked it up, I actually realised it's closer to double knit. Um, I would put it as maybe sport weight, but for now I'm just going to go with double knit. It's got this tweedy fleck, can you see? It's got the bits of blue, the brown, a little bit of grey in there. And I do love a tweed. So I've got that, as well as the mohair. And then in this bag, If you look at this cake, you can see the colours just that bit better. And it is gorgeous. It is just lighter than what I expected in terms of weight. And it isn't like hugely soft. Um, but I know it's got wool and acrylic in it. It's quite, it's not like hugely rustic, but yeah. 
Then I also have these cakes, which is an Aran weight yarn. It's got this tweedy effect again. It's got dark brown and then like a lighter brown beige. Um, and this is really rustic. My grandmother gifted it to me. She thinks it's like 80% wool, 20% acrylic or something like that. And it really is quite um, rough and it doesn't have much give in the swatches, which I'll show you. Um, so my original plan, original plan was to make a um, Aran weight jumper because I absolutely love the cables and whatnot but the yarn just wasn't giving me that softness that I really wanted. Um, but I'm committed to a stash bust. You can see all of this yarn. And I made myself the promise that I would only buy mohair or more yarn to finish a project. And so I'm trying to use what I've got which is why I've pulled these two out of my stash. Um, and then I've also got this glitter and decided that the yarn needed some sparkle. So in here is a load of swatches. And let me show you the history. <laughs> Because there's a lot of it here. I've used a lot. I knew that I really, really wanted to use this. And let me show you it up close. What is that? It has like a darker effect on the yarn because it's got these um, like greys and browns in there. Um, and so I absolutely love this texture stitch and I knew that I wanted to include it in my own Aran design and that's the back of the swatch. So that was a swatch that I was really happy to have. Um, and then the next thing I really wanted was a diamond. So there are quite a few diamonds down here. Okay, so I found a diamond like pattern. I found the repeats for a diamond in um, like a vintage Aran pattern. Um, diamonds are used quite a bit. Like if you look here in this folklore card again, you can see they've got diamonds. Um, that's a free pattern, by the way, by Lion Brand and um yeah i wanted to take out the texture in the middle and just have the diamond and then i really wanted a bigger diamond so i had a play with it added in some rows elongated it and then decided on this as the final one so it's got i decided to start from a half bead point do the full diamond and come out just so that you've got a bit more play in the design. And again, like I'm happy with it, but just not quite happy with it. And I don't know whether I'm just being a bit hard on myself because my stitches aren't regular, because knitting is quite new to me. I didn't know whether it was just the yarn. To know it just wasn't quite sitting right, but I've put loads of work in and I'm adamant that this is gonna be a design. Like I've got the design in my head so i got the mohair thinking that the problem i ordered mohair thinking the problem with the yarn the problem that i was having was that the yarn wasn't very soft and so then i added in mohair and can you see the slight color difference that it gives it makes it a tiny tiny little bit softer tiny little bit because this is a King Cole Tweedy Aran that I got. And can you just see the drape and how soft and the definition? Like it's really nice. Compared to this, that it's a lot stiffer and I just wasn't so happy with that. But then I figured 
part of me was like, oh, I'm just going to get the Yana one, but no. I've got over a kilo of this in my stash and it needs using up. And having a stiffer yarn can have its own like strength within a design. So I added in the mohair, swatched a really big panel because I thought I wanted triple diamonds together and yeah, no, I really didn't like it. <laughs> so there's like 120 stitches on there. I did 20 rows and it's a no. Sacked it off, just wasn't happy. And then today I just decided, right, let me dive into the yarns. So what I've done, picked up more yarns. Let me spin so you can get the better light. And I've made this into a chunky weight yarn. And now I am much, much happier with it. I have added in a little bit of the metallic Stellina that you can see there. It's got mohair. And this is actually a chunky weight because I have a two ply Stellina in places, a two ply mohair, an Aran weight, and a double knit yarn. Um, and I also made this one. Now, this one has got the Stellina throughout. came in here, got all the tubs out, which you saw earlier, and I just dove in, and I decided to hold a load of yarn together. So this is the first swatch. In this one, I actually have a strand of double knit, a strand of Aran, this one, I've got a strand of mohair and I've got a strand of like a glitter Stellina and I've held them all together. So this is like a chunky weight and I really like it. I just don't know whether I wanted the Stellina the whole way through. And also um, to make the projects I've got in mind, I would need to go and get some more of the double nicks. I don't have enough. Um, and then I thought I would try swatching it without the Stellina and just putting in little bits. Can you see it there? And then also I swapped out the double knit for um, different colors just to see what that would look like, um, which I really liked. But then at the top, for, from about here onwards, I swapped out the plain double knit that I had to the Tweedy double knit because I have more than enough of that to make not only this design but maybe even the other two designs that I've got in my head um, and I'm really really pleased with that and like that's a winner for me so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swatch the um, I'm going to do a really big swatch of the cables the diamonds all together in the chunky weight yarns held together so that I can really see what it looks like and um, make my final decision. I much prefer working in chunky yarns when I'm knitting. It's just quicker unless you're making like a tiny baby item then really enjoying the chunky. So what do you think to this swatch? Um, I put a little picture on Instagram and asked people like what weight yarn they think it would equate to and what needles they would use and then I had a quick look on Google as well and I added up, added it all up and it basically comes in it chunky so I would use like a 6 to a 7 mil needle. So I think I'm going to do, this swatch is on a 7 mil, um, I think I'm going to do it on a 7 mil and then do the rib on a 6 mil. I think I knit quite tight anyway so... I just think that looks really nice and I'm really into my neutrals when it comes to knitting. Crochet is really colourful, knitting is really neutral and also um, I want to decorate our bedroom and I've got like a whole neutral palette picked out um, for my winter wardrobe 2021 into 2022. I've gone with more like 
warm chocolate vibes, more neutrals. Um, black's just not a good colour with Albi. Like this, as much as I love this jumper, I will not wear it around him because he just, he's got like this bright red fur and it just gets everywhere. I'm just picking it off me now. So this colour is much, much better around him. And it's also the colour palette for baby as well. So really enjoying this. Um, so yeah. This video is probably going to be like 15 minutes and it doesn't show that hours and days of swatching, honestly. Of trying out chart repeats, charting it in Excel, writing it out, testing it, changing my mind. Um, and ultimately I just wasn't quite happy with the yarn on its own, but I'm really enjoying it held double. Well, it's more than double, isn't it? An abandoned diamond. Really like this overlapping interweave cable, but that's for a different design. I just wanted to show you how much more drape there is in this yarn. And then I've also got, I tried doing the diamonds with the texture stitch in between, but it just, it was too much. I really felt like I was losing the diamonds, especially with the garter. And then I tried to do the diamonds without garter and that didn't work. And I was like, nope, stop. Um, and then I've also picked out this bag of goodies. I love a little neon pop, just a tiny little neon pop. Um, this is some of my neutrals. So I've got like a forest green, a walnut brown, khaki, tiny pop and then these neutrals and it just means that I can like in this swatch here I can swap out the double knit and just put a tiny bit of colour in there so my next thing to do is to try this on a cable because whilst it, when it's a plain stitch it's fine, but maybe with the iron design that I want, it might be too much, so we shall see. Um, so what I'm gonna do is pop my dinner on to cook and then um, check on Albus, and then I'm gonna come back up here and sit with you and do a little bit of swatching and just show you what it looks like and show you what all the yarns look like. So far, all I've done is get the yarns out and then do the knot to start. Um, but I need to decide on the repeat that I want to try and do as well. Um, like I feel like in real life, that's a lot of glitter, but on camera, it's really subtle. Like you can't even tell, but I have the studio lights on. Um, then what I've been doing is on bits of paper I was charting out like writing down the pattern repeats and Excel I charted out the diamonds and then I've put this little sheet together I don't want to show you it all hang on put this little sheet together that's got all of my stitches on it so it's got like the diamond the textures and um it's a whole page basically so that Every stitch I need so that I can do the big swatch is there. Um, and then I need to decide on the layout of the swatches as well. So in my head, I was thinking of having three diamonds. So I would have a diamond that started on um, its bottom bit. So one that would be like this. But then I would have another one that started here and that would be one that was like this so they would then be like interspersed in each other so i thought i wanted three so this one would be here and here and then i started a big swatch and i just didn't like it it was too plain the diamonds took up too much room so now i'm thinking of interspersing the diamonds with the cables I really like the diamond with the crossover as well. So that's something that I've been adding in. 
and then this is the cable that I have fallen in love with. This is just a simple braid cable, I'm showing you upside down. Really like that and because it's quite big it shouldn't um, look too bad in the chunkier version either because it's not too fussy and I wanted to make um, basically reimagine the classic Aaron into something a little bit more modern day so rather than being really really complicated and small I wanted it to be chunkier I wanted the chunkier cables and I wanted it to work up fast and um, feel like I've almost cracked the code so first things first food then I'm gonna try a bigger swatch and I just need to figure out the layout make it sound so simple but yeah don't know I put some images up so that you can see like where my head's at and then we'll give it a go Say hello. Oh, thank you. So, I did work on this swatch as promised. I drew out all the schematics. I have a really good idea of what I'm doing with the design. However, I'm just not a fan of the swatch. Um, I'm only on row 10 and ideally I need to do up to row 19 to really see the pattern come through. I'm loving the texture. But for now, I have other things that I must put my attention to. So this is gonna live down there. And I'm going to crack on with Christmas presents, taking the dog out again, and other bits and pieces. Please let me know below whether you've enjoyed seeing some of this design process. And if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. That might even be like, semi-wearable or at least recognizable as part of a garment. See you next time. Thought it would take me forever, but no, I, I struck on the iron pot, guys. The the sojo was there, and I, I 